I say that. Um, we will fight about this later. Uh, <laughs> fight about it? I, I I, I'm willing anything. to throw hands. Um, <laughs> Not you throwing hands. You throwing them Yoshi Tims on the floor. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Thank you, Devin. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see BB with 55% on playing against John Numbers, of course with the Wii Fit. Y'all already know what this is. This is loser semis and wow, the down air. Oh my god, that almost spikes. Yeah, oh boy, look at this. I will say, um, we already saw, yeah, despite all of the Lucario buffs, Vivi's hero is what's been putting up really good results here in the late bracket. Managing to take out Sinji, the Buzz, and right now he's facing down numbers. If he could repeat that same success here, I mean, that would just be huge for him. Listen, I feel like with the way that Vivi wants to play, you know, Lucario sometimes, it's not always what he needs to actually take a lot of these games. He needs someone like Hero, maybe, someone who fits really well with the way that he plays, to actually take, you know, again, a set off of the buzz, which is really good, of course. Yeah, and I mean, a big part of why he maybe is picking this character in this matchup is that if he hits down B and he sees the bounce, he picks the bounce, and it removes so many of John Numbers, like, just what he tries to do. He can't Sun Salutation, he can't really camp the ledge with a soccer ball the way he would like to, and as a result, at the very least, it means that he can just have so much more freedom in the neutral. How many times has he hit that? Five I times I've seen him hit that. I know, but have you noticed how he's hitting it? Absolutely. But explain to us, please. Uh, he's just like hanging out. He's like, oh, I'm over here. I'm throwing out forward airs from half the planet away. Don't worry. I'm just a little boy. I can't hurt you. And then he just rushes in with, I believe it's the pivot F tilt, you know, getting that pivot to the extra distance. And it's so quick as a burst option that his opponents just aren't ready for it. Absolutely. Almost giving shades of Lucina and Mar that we're going to be completely Completely honest. Oh wow, and maybe he's still at 164%. Oh wow, this is gonna be really bad. Just kind of waiting to see if he can, you know, kind of set up his stuff back up. And he has, boom, Psycho and Accelerado again. This is not what you want to see from Hero. Numbers could die right now. 42%, I would, I would believe it. Down air, down air, down air. Oh, Dang he was it. looking for Dang it. Dang it. He oh, has wow. no MP right now. Who oh, boy. This MP is not All giving, right. but this 179%, it's giving very much, I want to live forever. That was really smart from Numbers, by the way. In that situation where he has the psych up going, you kind of want to get it thrown on your shield, because it will go away if it connects on the shield. As long as you, uh, I mean, there are obviously situations where you don't want it to land on your shield, uh, but that's one of the better ways to just diffuse it. All right, despite that massive lead that we had originally for Vivi, things are looking pretty even right now. Only about 11% separating them. And uh, if your numbers, I feel like that's a confidence inspiring. You know, mm -hmm. when you're Absolutely. down by that much and you're like, okay, no, I'm figuring out what I need to do. Even when bounce is in play, you know, he's just playing around it with Wii Fit's solid, normal tools. Absolutely. And it's kind of forcing John to actually play the game with him. Like, where this is not something you normally see. That still isn't going to do it. However, no! that fair offstage with the Accelerado 2, you are surely going to be in that blast zone. And you are going to be praying for dear life. So right, so many so many of VV's kills have been from these like surprise bursts in, you know? Whether it's the F tilt on stage or off stage with Accelerado using the uh, forward air. Numbers finally picking up that stock with the down tilt. Keeps, uh, you know, manages to stem most of the bleeding, but already 22%. We have three minutes on the clock. We're not going to be seeing a timeout of any kind, regardless of how slow this goes. So I think both of them can take their time as they see fit, and that's what they're doing. Oh my god, that could have been so bad for Numbers right there. But I really love the way that Numbers is actually going about taking a few of these stocks. John Numbers understands that, you know, whenever, you know, BB wants to get off ledge, he's going to do it immediately with Accelerado, knew that he wanted to jump. Why wouldn't you want to jump with Accelerado too? All that distance being covered? Absolutely, and just getting the down tilt, just taking a lot of these stocks. But you're at 110%. You have to be very concerned with how this is going to go. Yeah, and you can really see mastery of the character here on BB's part. Even tiny things like when he has Accelerado, he, uh will go for up for a lot for neutral air dodge because of how much the air speed buff gives him. Then it basically functionally becomes a directional air dodge with a lot more flexibility to it. And 
this point. Look at the numbers at 119. He has to be scared of quite a bit. Yeah, he has to actually find those kill moves. Oh, apparently, it's just going to be dropping shield against the... Uh, which one is that? Kaboom? Kaboom boom. The um, dumb one. It's the dumb one. Listen, listen. Um, there's too many moves. Kaboom, kafrazzle, kaklik, kaklam, kaboom, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> um, not me checking. I'm so sorry. What were we looking for? Uh, the one that has the vortex and the explosion. Bang. That is kaboom. Kaboom, All right. kaboom or kabang. Uh, you know, um, these are too many words, and I do not know enough English for this. Anyways, nah, English is overrated. English is sure. What, are, what language do we speak? Then? Uh, do we speak onomatopoeias. Ana a baboom. <laughs> just, just express words how you think they sound. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <sighs> Language at its finest. Ooh, speaking of at its finest, we're looking at numbers completely different than that game one. 101% already dished out. And he managed to almost snipe him off of the zoom on top of that. Look at numbers movement. Yo, look at him move. Look at him move like that. What you thought you was doing? Yeah, it's a bit touched. It's 140%. Ooh, <laughs> hey, that was <laughs> random, too. That Water. was random. <laughs> John Numbers immediately slowing this down and still 0% on the board from Numbers. You better be very careful. The down air is coming. Ah. It's coming. I'm it telling you. Oh. He's going to recover from a down air. He's only at 13%. So with Oomph and Psych up? Hello? I still don't think he would die from that. If he had a jump. If he didn't have a jump, I don't know. But Oh, I like using Zoom just as a landing option in that position. Okay, so at 178% was worth it. That was so brilliant! No, do you notice the fact he went for the deep breathing? Canceled it specifically because he baited at that point, baited him to going for the uh, you know the down B. I think he Ooh. healed and yeah, that was absolutely not worth it. But it was engineered from numbers. Absolutely. Is that kaboom? The kaboom go go boom. <laughs> kaboom kaboom. Kaboom, go, boom, bang, boom. Period. Anyways, um, <laughs> we're at 13% on VV's second stock, and John only has 93. Now, John has been slowing this down so immediately, and that just says a lot. Only because, you know, John saw how bad the first game was and was like, okay, I cannot deal with this no more. I cannot be having this freaking 15 year old boy doing. <laughs> Uh, freaking sword magic, freaking making things go boom, making I hatchet didn't, man. I didn't do 10,000 hours of yoga to lose to a 10-year-old with a tinfoil sword. I don't know how old he is. Listen, it's not the first time John has lost to a 15-year-old. Let's be completely really honest. That's, that's very, very true. Uh, anyway. And actually, despite how completely dominant numbers look at the beginning of this, you ran it back. Uh, period. Look you, at this. You cannot sit on your laurels. No throne is... A, you, can you stay sedentary on? Because constantly, everybody in New York is going to be... Even if they're down, they're going to continuously put pressure and so many comeback players throughout this tournament. VB probably being one of the best of them. Absolutely. And this... We're still only at like, at like 32 to like 40% right now. Like, hello? This is so crazy, but gonna be putting a little bit of damage, charting to kind of rack up a little bit, maybe? Or are we just gonna go back to another situation where John is at ledge? Well, I mean, it's, John is not scared to go on the stage. It's, oh, wow, oh. how? That's honestly just bad luck on Mimi's part. Because I believe Zoom is random where Absolutely. he spawns. And it just always happens to be right above where Numbers is. Well, you can also jump out of it, I'm pretty sure. I think... Like, there's been a lot of situations... I believe you're yeah. correct, yes. He got bounced yeah. just in time. If, if Numbers had... He has Sun Salutation in the pocket, so if he had been a little bit too overzealous and thrown it right there, that could have been absolutely devastating. Absolutely. Oh! No, that fair isn't going to do it, but Accelerado is right there. Right there. What's going on? Psych oh. up, too? Psych up at that? 
John I mean, Rumper. This isn't Christmas. Why are you red and green? What if it's red and green for the blood? And then green for, like, I don't know, John Numbers, I guess. <laughs> there could be a plethora amount of reasons. Don't, don't, don't be mean to the 15-year-old. What an F tail. That was so good because it removed that, you, it, you know, it removed the oomph and psych up and every type of buff. When he dies, those don't carry over. So that's, you know, ideally, that's the best way to shut him down. Absolutely. Just kill him. Yeah, just die. Just, just unalive. Wait. Just unalive? That's yeah. my new favorite way of saying die. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but just, I guess, unalive. Yeah. Um, <gasps> Look at the moment from Numbers. He's going for these wave lands on the platform right in Vivi's face. You're landing on top of him again. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This Did is he scary. block it with the shield? I'm not sure exactly what happened there. I thought the Sun Salutation got launched. I'm not entirely sure. All right, but, you know, Numbers, he needs that one good hit at this point. I think he even has deep breathing in effect. That soccer ball. Oh, boy. Um... Ooh, that's so good. Oh, oh wow. He's at 150% on his second, on last stock, sorry. And here's the kind of thing, right? I feel like Vivi's been missing out on a lot of ledge trapping situations. That's exactly what I feel like Vivi is extremely good at, if we're gonna be completely honest. Like, we've seen a lot of situations where Vivi continuously keeps people at ledge and blows people up for these situations. And granted, of course, it's shot numbers. John Numbers doing John Numbers things, of course, why not? But it's been a lot of situations where it's like he can really cover a lot of these options that, you know, Numbers has been doing off ledge to kind of just throw off the tempo. John is like, okay, side B, done. You know, like, when am I going to get it again? I don't know, but I'm going to do it again. Ooh, ooh, Tekken, Tekken, period. Yeah. I don't know what that song was, but I guess. <laughs> um, uh, uh. I can't believe we're not... Uh we're not playing the yodeling song every time we're on FT in Battlefield. The, picking why? the yodeling song is such a is such a mind breaker on your why? opponent. Why? Why? Do you know the yodeling song? Are you trying song? to degrade the stream quality with a yodeling song? Hold on a we have so many I... bots here anyway. Back to the game. 41% on Vivi, but Vivi is like, I'm not having none of this, none of your yodeling, none of none of the percent I, I like, but it doesn't matter because now Vivi is just like, okay, how do I how do I beat numbers in losers yeah. finals to make it back to third place? Getting his run back on Tilde where he knew, he knows he's been so good in a lot of these positions. It's just what are we going to see? I don't know. Yeah, this could definitely go either way. At the moment, numbers with a slight advantage, but we've seen how that sort of thing can evaporate into thin air, especially when BB really gets going. Oh my god, he got knocked back so far by that sun salutation. The drawbacks. And that's all of you been a little bit further down. It would have actually reflected. Absolutely. Ooh, that was so good. If only he would have gotten this news. However, 120% covering that world very nicely from John. You have to be very careful, VV. That shield is looking mighty tiny right now. And 168%. John is, John is really making it hard for VV to actually approach right now. And it's very scary because he's going to get taken off by F tilt. And that's going to be VV's first stock gone and only 69%. John is in control right now. And John, look at that, he's just going to the ledge, especially when something like Accelerator is at play, which you can just wait it out. You can be careful and not, you know, commit to anything. And then eventually, you know, that's, that's, you don't have to worry so much. All right, great job right there. If you missed your tech on that platform, you will take like 60 to 70%. It's one of the grossest combos we fit has. Absolutely, and gonna see a little bit more again this is exactly what i wanted to see that stops so many positions that john could be setting up for and are you gonna nope you're not you're just gonna be right back off stage but again oh oh, oh i mean it's a genuine mix-up it helped get him off the ledge because uh i mean you know funnily enough because he went past the ledge that, that was perfect timing uh oh what a turn but no mp oh no vv's on a second stop. Could he have recovered from that? 
If oh, he had gone for the wall oh, jump no, tech no, no. and then air dodge, I think maybe he yes. could come back regardless. But at that point, you're already like, I got the tech. You're not going to be paying attention to the fact you have like only four MP. <laughs> Absolutely. You could definitely see this is starting to take a little bit of a toll on Vivi just a little bit with the way he's been getting a little bit more aggressive. It's just a little bit more reckless, and it's like, what can he do yeah. right now? A little goes a long way when it comes to being un d discareful against John Numbers. I don't know, and that's not exactly something you want to do. But, oh, very nice. I, I would have hoped he would have down there, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this is the sort of situation where I think Vivi is keeping his head cool. Numbers already at 122%. He is close to death, you know, especially if he can get another buff online. But instead, trying to go right in Numbers' face, not give him a chance to get any of Numbers' own respective buffs. I mean, if you think about it, Numbers' also, his down B is basically like a hero buff that uh, you always don't have to run about RNG on. Absolutely. And we're kind of seeing a little bit that going to place, getting that deep breathing again. And ooh. I think Vivi's been choosing a lot of these, you know, tools at a very bad position. Just always uses stage control or um, the ledge control for a lot of these, you know, buffs. Oh, man. Vivi at 120%. He's going to be surviving that sun salutation, but only barely. Numbers is looking so good right now. Even if this stock drops, he has an entire healthy one. He doesn't even have to worry about that a Beautiful snipe with that soccer ball is going to be taking game three. Numbers moving on in the loser's bracket to now face off against Tilde in the finals. Absolutely, and I'm very excited for this because I think the last time we've seen this, but I could be completely wrong, we've seen um, John just... Actually, I think John beating Tilde. Am I wrong, Devin? Uh, Almost yeah. beating Tilde, but didn't. This could be where we actually see it because I feel like John was still like trying to figure it out just a little bit 